I need y'all to spread this video. And if something happens to me, it's because I'm speaking truth. So, God forbid something happens to me or my family or so after me because I'm speaking the truth. And here's the truth, right? In New York, there is a 120 million budget cut. There's a 120 million budget cut in New York that is going to affect schools, public libraries, and um, the police department. Y'all know I'm going to about the cops, but like it is what it is. There's going to be a $120 million budget cut with schools, with libraries, and the cops. And the police department. And a $5 million budget cut in sanitation. Of a budget cut in sanitation. We're going to be drowning with rats. We're going to be drowning with rats. <laughs> well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right, that's right. You folks, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit the like and hit that subscribe. Por favor. Okay, okay, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, what is going on? Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Thank you, guys. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, so I'm going through my news feed, and I see Miss Wap herself, Miss Cardi B, is in the news complaining about her local politics. Mayor Adams is doing some budget cuts of the sanitation and the law enforcement and she's complaining about the rats in new york city i'm like wait a minute new york city i thought the rats in new york city were the mascots what are y'all talking about what are you complaining about you got rats everywhere in new york city you have it in your chow mein and chinese food you have them as pets what are you talking about what, what, what you complaining about and now you're talking about budget cuts you the same woman that was talking about defund the police not too long ago and now Mayor Adams is cutting the budget of the NYPD and you're complaining. The fuck you, do? I don't get this. It's so funny that you were so loud and proud when you had a chance to interview President Biden a few years ago. Uh -huh. uh, you was the first hip hop artist to interview a presidential candidate and he went as far as calling himself Joey B and you're Cardi B and y'all might be related. So he says, right? <laughs> so you endorse President Joe Biden. You endorse Mayor Adams back then. And now that you got the, the the government that you voted for, you're complaining. I don't get it. You had a chance to give Joey B an interview. And you hit him with the hard questions. I was impressed with your questions too. You asked Mr. Biden questions like, what do you think about police brutality? Mm. What are you going to do about free college? Mm. What are you going to think about free health care? Mm. Right? These were hard-hitting questions that you were giving Joey B. And I'm very impressed, girl. <laughs> Unbelievable. It was. I remember the time that you and Candace Owens had a little rip. Y'all probably still have a little beef. And you know, guys, I love when two girls are fight. I love a cat fight. I hope y'all just get into a mud fight and just get it on. Woo! But Candace Owens called you illiterate. Candace Owens uh, basically called you a bobblehead. You know what I'm saying? You don't know what the hell's going on in the country. You don't know how the country's run. And you had a chance to interview Joey B. And you think because you had a hot song at the time, and that's why he picked you to the interview. No. 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 He knows that you're not too bright and your followers, your million of Barty, Barty gang, whatever you call your, your, your followers, they're not bright either. A lot of women, a lot of single moms, a lot of ex-strippers. And he tapped you on the shoulders to do an interview because he know the questions that you're going to pull out and the same basic questions, right? So 
You got the government that you asked for. Yes. I don't understand why you're complaining. Just do me a favor. Get off the IG with your complaints. All right. Shut the fuck up. This is what you asked for. Ride with it. You didn't want President uh, uh, Trump to be in there. That was the whole thing. You said that at the interview also. You said you don't care who wins. You just don't want Donald Trump in there because every time he opened his mouth, we get into trouble. So it's Cardi B. So now you got sleepy ass Joe in. I don't get it. Same thing with um, the city of Chicago. City of Chicago is run by the teachers union. There's a lot of black power in Chicago, right? Now, they had Lori Lightfoot in. She was the first openly gay, married, whatever. And everybody was so proud about that. They put Lori Lightfoot in. I call her Beetlejuice. They put her in and what happened? Less than a year, the city started going down. They would try to get her ass out within a year because she was a fucking idiot, right? So she gets in, she get kicked out. They put another guy in, Brandon Johnson. Let's go, Brandon. They put him in, and he's a former teacher who turned politician, a very progressive guy, and he says it in the beginning. He's an open sanctuary city, all right? He said that from the beginning. So yeah, he folded his ass in, and now he's doing what he says he's gonna do. He got the, the illegals in, he's clothing them, he's feeding them, he's giving them jobs, he's giving them driver's license, he's giving them free health care, everything that you black people ask for. Brandon Johnson, let's go Brandon, he's the one that's doing it for them. All this black and brown people, we're gonna, black and brown coalition, we're gonna rise up against the man. Heh <laughs> out of here. Brandon Johnson, is looking out for Brandon Johnson. And I hope he get reelected. I really do because the city of Chicago deserve it. You deserve Brandon Johnson, Lori Lightfoot, uh, uh, Rahm Emanuel, all these folks. It's you, this is you, this is what you voted for. And now you're complaining, right? The city of Chicago had a meeting the other day and let's listen, let's take a listen. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. I would like to say good afternoon to the city council members, the media over there, and to my brother, Mayor Brandon Johnson, who we fought on some fronts together, and all those fronts we fought on together when I was with SEIU or anything else out there in the street, Brother Brandon, you have always been on the right side of history. That's why I campaigned for you and that's why I voted for you. That's why I encouraged others to vote for you because I knew and I felt in my heart you would be on the right side of history. And that meant including your people, descendants of enslaved Africans. Brother, you got to stop the buses from coming in. You just got to stop the buses coming in because it's hurting your people. I'm talking about descendants of enslaved Africans. We're hurting the things that our people been on the waiting list come for the immigrants are coming in, getting everything, and I don't have time to go into all of it, coming from your elder. We've been talking, the elder's been talking. We're looking for for you to help us on this issue. Stop the buses. Please stop those buses from coming in here. Will you please? Thank you. Please. <laughs> Absolutely hilarious. She's out there damn near crying about the buses, about uh, Greg Abbott in Texas busting them up. You were proud to be a sanctuary city, okay? Mary Adams, also New York, proud to be a sanctuary city. Once they start busting them in, now you're complaining. And so messed up with Mary Adams, he complained so much that he was gonna give Joe Biden a piece of his mind, right? And guess what happened to Joe uh, to uh, Mary Adams? This sick the feds on his ass. Yeah, campaign finance reform or whatever. They got him for, so far, allegedly, laundering money, right? And now what happened? What else happened? They got he got a assault, a suit. It's from 1990, what? Forever? Yeah. The 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 folks are telling Mary Adams, you need to play ball and shut the up. So yeah, Cardi B, this is what you asked for. So Mary Adams have to do that because Joey B is making them do it. Joey B has sick the feds on his ass. 
and Joey B got somebody to uh, um, assault his ass also. I can't say that word, God damn it. S-A, right? So again, this is what you voted for. Now you got it. Just do us a favor, get off the IG, put on your big girl pants on and shut the f up, all right? And roll with it. You made the bed, you made everybody, all your, um, your Cardi B gang, you made them vote for you, scared them to death. You told them, fuck or die. You and Sean Pity Combs, Brother Love, had a slogan, vote or die, right? P. Diddy, the guy who believes in women's rights, the guy who believes in women equality, the guy that believes that believe all women, right? Brother Love, Sean Pity, right? You the, you the, you're the champion of this. You champion this. Yes. Believe all women. Right? Now look what happened to your ass. Vote or die. <laughs> so, guys, you liberal people, especially you Democrats, do what you do best. Rap your songs, write your songs, do your acting, but politics, stay out of it. Don't tell us. Who to vote for anymore okay anyway that's all i got that's my rant for the day if you want to hear more of my content do me a favor hit the like hit that subscribe see that notification bell turn on the notification bell so you get my latest and greatest share this content with your best friends and tell your mama i said hi all right all right till then i'll see you next time and you liberal women do me a favor Get off my lawn.